Hey fish heads, Jen here at Jekyll Baits. Today we're talking about a paint splatter effect on a custom bait in a secret shad color. Um, it's got a little bit of plum on the back. It is a layered bait, which means I have black on the inside, completely black, a little bit of gold, and then I covered the bait, got most of the detail laid in. I've got my shad dot shading on the eyes and a little bit of bruising towards the back because you want to make sure that we have a natural definition which is important when you're trying to mimic and match the hatch but today we're going to talk about how to create a more lifelike splatter pattern once you've got most of your detail laid in pretty easy can turn an ordinary bait into something really cool a little bit more lifelike so what we're going to start with just some opaque black we're also going to get a cup these mixing cups are pretty cool. They're very inexpensive and you can get them right at Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description below. You don't need a whole lot. I prefer opaque to transparent. Transparent has the uh, tendency to run a little bit. Just a few drops in the bottom of this cup. It's really all we're going to need. You'll notice on this brush, I like a wider brush. It's a very stiff bristle brush. We're just going to dip the tip into our paint. Just like that. Now we want to move anything out of the way that we don't want to get splattered. As you guys can see I've got several that are in the lineup today to go through the run. But we're just going to concentrate on these two right now. The other thing we want to do, and I'm just going to lift this paper up to show you, is you want to get your excess splatter. You don't want any big old blotches on there. So kind of flick off your excess and then lightly just flick that right onto your bait. And it's going to create a random splatter pattern. go. I'm just going to dip a little bit more paint in here. Flick off the excess onto a piece of paper. Again, you don't want those big old splotches. Small splatter is cool. And then lightly flick it onto your bait pretty simple to do. Some people like more, some people like less, but we're just looking for a real natural random pattern. And then you want to go ahead and do that on the back. I still have a little bit of excess paint so I'm going to continue on. And then down the other side. It gives you a very unique, natural pattern. It's going to bring that bait to life for you. Do the same with this other side. I don't want to overdo it. I've seen a lot of, a lot of folks go a little crazy with it. Um, just like a subtle pattern and that's just me you can experiment and get the technique that you want down but when you're finished you have a very nice random splatter pattern on your bait 
Now the bait is ready for some eyes and some clear coat. Now we're ready for clear coat.